Hello friends, welcome again to this channel and a new session on Dilemma Zone at Signal Control Intersections. About 40% of all crashes in India take place at intersections and out of which a majority are related to driver's decision at the Dilemma Zone. Dilemma Zone is defined as the area where drivers approaching a signal controlled intersection must decide either to stop or to proceed at the onset of yellow indication. Drivers that might perceive themselves to be too close to an intersection for a safe stop or too far to proceed without violating traffic regulations are the drivers that are caught in dilemma zone. Now, at this intersection, when the traffic light is green, the vehicles are coming and clearing the intersection. But when it turns amber, this driver is at this distance from the intersection. Now, you should take the decision whether to stop or to continue. Now, this driver takes a decision to continue and when traffic light about to terminate, about to terminate to red, this must clear the intersection. So, the point is that when it enters the intersection area during amber time, is it possible for this driver to clear the intersection before onset of the red? How do we calculate this length of dilemma zone at an intersection? Let us consider a vehicle approaching a traffic signal at speed V and the driver faces the amber signal when it is x distance away from the stop line. So driver should now take a decision whether to stop or to continue. So if it decides, if the driver decides to stop, then he should be able to stop within this distance. If the driver decides to continue, then he should be able to clear this distance x plus w plus l before onset of the red time. Let us take case 1. Let us take case 1 when driver decides to stop. And as I told you, stopping will require that vehicle should be able to stop within this distance x. Let us assume that the reaction time of the driver is a small t and therefore it will take time t to decide whether to stop or to continue. And during this time he will be moving at speed v and therefore distance traveled during this reaction time will be v into t. So remaining distance available to the driver is x minus v into t. Now this is the breaking distance available to the driver and therefore this breaking distance must be equal to or more than v square upon 2a where a is the rate of deceleration. Now this rate of deceleration will depend upon the distance available to the driver. If x is a small, the rate of deceleration will be very high. So if x is large, that means the driver is much away from stop line then he will not be required to decelerate hard. So let us say A star is the comfortable rate of deceleration and corresponding to that, the distance required to stop is x into c. So you will get this equation here, that the critical distance is v into t plus v square upon 2 into A star. A star here is the comfortable rate of deceleration. So this is the minimum distance required for comfortable stop. So if distance available is less than xc, driver will not be able to stop comfortably. So if the driver is caught at distance x which is less than xc, he cannot stop comfortably. Now case 2 is if the driver decides to go. And let us assume that the amber time provided the signal is T A and within this time the driver must be able to clear distance X plus width of the intersection 
plus length of its own vehicle L. So again we assume that reaction time is small t and during this time he will be traveling at speed v and therefore x minus vt plus this length w plus this length L must be less than or equal to what can be covered in time ta minus t. ta is the amber time and small t is reaction time. So remaining time available is ta minus t. So this is same s is equal to ut plus half at square. Now if you rearrange these terms you will get a equal to by this equation. Now this is the rate of acceleration. So acceleration will requirement of acceleration will be dependent upon where the driver is placed at the onset of amber time. More is the length x, more the distance x, higher will be the rate of acceleration required. But legally, the driver should be able to clear the intersection without accelerating. And if you take the rate of acceleration 0 in this equation, then the critical distance x0 will be equal to v into ta minus w plus l. Now this is the maximum distance a driver can cover before onset of red time. So if the driver is caught beyond this distance, he cannot clear the intersection without accelerating at legal speed. So two distances are important here. Xc where driver cannot stop. If, he's, if he is caught within this distance, he cannot stop comfortably. And x0, if he is caught beyond this distance x0, he cannot clear comfortably. So if xc is less than x0, then this is very comfortable situation for the driver. Driver can execute both maneuvers no matter where or here he or she is located at onset of amber. The limiting case is represented by the condition when xc is equal to x0. So, but still the driver can safely take a decision. But problem becomes apparent when xc is more than x0. And this is the problem where dilemma zone occurs. If the driver is caught between this distance behind the stop line at the onset of amber time, he cannot take a decision. Neither he can clear the intersection before onset of the red time, nor he can stop comfortably. And that is what we call the dilemma zone at intersections. And the length of dilemma zone will be the difference between these two distances xc minus x0. So dilemma zone can be eliminated by equating these two distances equal. Then cp is t plus v upon 2a plus w plus l upon v. Now cp here is change period. That indicates yellow time or amber time plus old red time. Where all, all signals are showing red time to all movements that we call the old red time or intergreen time. Small t is the reaction time which is generally 1 to 1.5 second. B is the approach speed in meter per second. A is the rate of deceleration meter per second square. W is the width of intersection and L is the length of the vehicle. So this is the minimum change period that will eliminate the dilemma zone. It will depend upon the approach speed. It will depend upon the size of the intersection also. So it is not constant for all intersections. Let us take one example just to understand the procedure of eliminating dilemma zone at an intersection. An example is a driver traveling at a speed of 45 km per hour was arrested for running the red light at a signal control intersection that is 20 meter wide. The driver claimed that the amber period provided at the intersection is not proper. Assuming that the driver reaction time is 1.5 second and the length of this vehicle 
is 5 meter find out if a dilemma zone existed or this intersection approach take comfortable rate of deceleration 2.5 meter per second square so let us calculate the two distances xc and x naught and then compare them so the minimum distance to stop require that xc should be equal to v into t plus v square upon 2a square now here v is 45 km per hour you convert this into meter per second 12.5 small t is 1.5 second it is given in the question a is 2.5 meter per second square and therefore xc comes out to be 15 meter second case when he decides to clear the intersection require that x0 should be equal to v into t a minus w plus l now here again v is 12.5 t a that is amber time 4 second length of the vehicle is 5 meter and width of intersection is 20 meter so if you put all these values in the equation you get x not is equal to 25 meter now since this distance is less than xc so dilemma zone existed and length of dilemma zone will be xc minus x not that is 25 meter so driver's claim is right that he was caught in dilemma zone and therefore the amber provided at intersection is not proper now how to eliminate this dilemma zone dilemma zone can be eliminated by selecting appropriate amber time and all red time so that these two distances becomes equal so this is the equation cp is equal to t plus v upon 2a plus w plus l upon v and if you put all these values in this equation you get cp equal to 6 second now change period yellow plus all red time must be equal to 6 seconds amber time provided is 4 second and therefore all red time must be equal to 2 second now all red time is when direct when traffic from all directions is stopped the all indications are red now if you put this value of cp equal to 6 second that is all red time is taken 2 second amber 4 second if you put this value in this equation 6 second then what is the speed range that can cover or that can be covered by this change period so this is the equation you get v square minus 22.5 v plus 125 and if you solve this equation you get v is equal to 10 meter per second and 12.5 meter per second or you can say 36 km per hour to 45 km per hour so the meaning thereby is that a driver approaching the intersection within this speed zone or speed range can clear the intersection safely before onset of red time if the change period is 6 second now suppose in the same example if we provide all red time 2.5 second in place of 2 seconds if you provide all red time 2.5 second then if you solve this equation again for cp is equal to 6.5 then you will find that the dilemma zone can be eliminated for a speed range of 25 to 65 km per hour and that indicates the importance of all red time how sensitive dilemma zone is to the change period the speed range now has increased from 36 km per hour to 45 km per hour to 25 km per hour to 65 km per hour so friends in this session we have discussed what is the dilemma zone how it can be eliminated and what is the importance of change period at intersection to avoid dilemma zone you can write your questions in the comment box if you want any topic to be covered please do write to me either in the comment box or you can send an email to me